in the entire Quran does Allah talk about the month of Ramadan and for Muslims all over the world when we think of Ramadan the first thing we think about is fasting the first thought that comes in my head as we think of tonight we're good tomorrow night we're going to pray Taraweeh that means the day after that is going to be a very long day and I'm gonna be very hungry and thirsty so we start thinking about food and drink immediately but it's incredible that in the Quran, when Allah introduced us to the month of Ramadan, He did not introduce the month of Ramadan with fasting. He did not introduce us to this month with Saum. He said, Shahru Ramadan, Alladhi unzila fihi al Quran. The month of Ramadan is in fact the one in which the Quran was sent down. In other words, the first thing you and I have to think about when we think of Ramadan is the Qur'an. We Muslims, the ones who are knowledgeable and the ones who are not knowledgeable, the ulama and the, uh, the, the common people among the Muslims, all of us know that Ramadan is a time to get closer to Allah. All of us know Ramadan is a time to make extra dua. All of us know Ramadan is a time to give up a lot of sins, to make istighfar to go to the masjid more than usual. A lot of people who normally don't go to the masjid, they start coming to the masjid in the month of Ramadan. So even if you don't know a lot about Islam, you still know that this month you have to do a little extra for Allah. Every Muslim feels this. But it's incredible that in the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal gave us the key, the key on how to get close to Him in this month. And that key is the Quran itself. It is the book of Allah. So if you really, really want to get close to Allah in Ramadan, if you really want to fulfill the purpose of Ramadan for yourself and I for myself, then the month of Ramadan has to be about the Qur'an. It has to be about the Qur'an for you and for me. And we have to treat it as though we've never had a relationship with the Qur'an before. You're starting all over again. You're starting all over again. You know, even though I'm not going to talk to you in detail about those ayat of Al-Baqarah, it's incredible that it's a Madani Surah, which means the Muslims have been Muslim for a long time. The Sahaba have been Muslim for a long time. And they know about the Qur'an, and they know about the Akhirah, and they know about these things. Yet in the ayah of Al-Baqarah, when Allah introduced us to Ramadan, He decided also to introduce us to the Qur'an. Listen to me again. He did not just introduce us to Ramadan. He also introduced us to the Qur'an. It is guidance for people. The Qur'an is guidance for people. You tell me, did the Muslims already know that it is guidance for people? Did we already know that when the ayah came down? We did. We had known then since, since somebody said shahada, they knew that the Qur'an is guidance for humanity. Yet Allah Azza wa Jal in the month of Ramadan, when He introduced us to the Qur'an said, almost as though you have to start all over again. So you and I have to start reading the Qur'an and studying the Qur'an and reflecting and thinking about the Qur'an in this month like we have never read it before, like it's the first time.